security guard fired shots at the Fort Totten Metro station. This happened yesterday. No one was hurt, but according to Metro, the security guard is not associated with the transit authority. The station stayed open the entire time, and police did not report any arrests. And Metro's also investigating a shooting on a Green Line train Saturday near Waterfront. Metro tells us two customers got into a fight on the train, and one fired several shots. The suspect got out at Navy Yard, and police are still looking for him. No one was actually injured by bullets. A D.C. man is facing several charges tonight, a connection to a string of violent crimes, including multiple carjackings and shootings. Police say Monterey Horn shot a man on a metro train in Anacostia Saturday morning. Then he's accused of carjacking a person at gunpoint and eventually ditching that car. Later in the morning, officers believe he attempted to carjack five different people at the Westfield Wheaton Mall. During his fifth attempt, police say Horn shot a woman in the face and ran away, then tried to break into a house. Police arrested him a short time later. He's now charged with attempted second-degree murder. The woman he's accused of shooting is in serious condition. Horn was recently released from prison. He served 17 years for sexually assaulting a child. A Maryland man was just convicted of murdering his wife and trying to cover it up. The disturbing killing happened in Silver Spring back in 2021. News Force Amy Cho has more tonight on the clues that helped police crack this case and how the victim's family hopes to help survivors of domestic violence. Live on the D.C. Frenchman Show. Friends everywhere she went. That's but we'll cover this case a little bit later. Charles. Now, her husband is convicted in her murder. I have killing. to tell you all There's something about what um, she was just one of the I want to talk about these two cases heard. a little bit Not only that, here. Very, very kind, very Especially with the fresh case and the crime that's happening in the city and the people going batty. A woman cheating. Beat her to death with a Cause a woman statue. won't to do body. her free the will. The he thinks he have the, the power to take her life. A damn idiot. But he didn't. Court documents indicate police suspected Dunlap early on when they noticed blood on his hand and no signs of <laughs> He had nothing inside of him but evil. He was an emissary of the devil. If me and you had been there, big dog, we would have beat the Lord shit out of him. dad says he hopes their family's story can help other victims of domestic violence before it's too late. He says from the moment he met Reginald Dunlap, he had a bad feeling. She asked, Daddy, um, what do you think of no copyright infringement boyfriend. intended and here. Her I just want you all to see I the news that's happening up towards... Washington, D.C. and Maryland and Virginia. Um, you all have a nice day. Share, like, and subscribe. But I need to tell you all a little bit about this guy in that fresh reel with the red beard. Come so just come to find out that he lives freaking beside us. I just watched the news a few minutes ago and showed it to my family and I have a baby girl and I have kids here in the house beside him. So just a public service announcement. That's what this is for you all to keep an eye on your kids, watch your kids. Of Don't take for granted nobody, and everybody is your enemy unless it's your mother and father and grandparents or whatever. But everybody is your enemy. So, public service announcement: no copyright infringement. Share, like, and subscribe. And welcome to the DC Frenchman Show, and I'll always bring you stuff from DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Let you see what's going on with us. You all have a nice evening. Pretty much all hours of the day. Pretty much all hours of the day. Bye bye.